Knowledge is being aware of what you can do. Wisdom is knowing when not to do it. My friends, 10 to 15 minutes each and every day to gain that knowledge, to gain that wisdom. That is all we ask. Let's look at where charts are today. We see stocks and bonds are up. Gold and Bitcoin are down. As always, let's jump into the S&P 500. What we see is on this half day chart, how things had peaked and we go back to that date. That is the morning of Tuesday, the 4th of April. Things then roll down and we see today on Thursday where they are popping up, up 0.39%. Not a lot, but again, price is well above on this half day chart, well above the weekly trend line, well above the weekly trend line on the two day chart. And again, we're reaching a higher high this week. Nice bigger candle volume still has one more day to go. Maybe it'll be decent volume. It'll get up to the average or higher. We shall see, but things moving in the right direction, which is the direction that the candles are showing us. Let's look at the NASDAQ 100. Very similar. You see some indecision in the morning, but moving back up in the afternoon, we are closer to the weekly trend line, of course, on this half day chart, as opposed to that is the NASDAQ 100, as opposed to the S&P 500. We can also see where things have stalled over four days. And of course, then going into the Wednesday, Thursday candle, we have a spinning top, almost a doji. So some indecision there. We can also see where the volume is there. So we will keep an eye. Let's see, the high this week so far is 321.63. Last week, 321.17. So it is a little higher for the week. Candle is smaller, so we will keep an eye on the cues, see how it finishes up the week. Now let's move to bonds. As we look at bonds, we can see where they had peaked back on the two-day candle representing Friday the 10th and Monday the 13th of March. And then things just sort of slid sideways. Now we're pushing back up again, not up much for the day, 0.26%, but we do see a potential ceiling that we have here on this purple line that we see where we've struck it a few times in the past. You can see it here on the weekly most vividly. And again, we'll just wait, watch and see. Last week was a weak week for 20-year bonds. We'll see how things continue to move this week and if we can push above that purple potential ceiling. Now, let's move on to gold. Gold down for the day, 0.71%. We can see where gold peaked most recently with high volume back on the morning of Wednesday the 5th and then leveled out that afternoon, lost some of that energy and then down on Thursday, still well above the weekly trend line, although you can see it's a rather flattened looking line here, lost some of that oomph that it had on those first two weekly candles where gold took off, but we do have a higher high this week. We'll continue to watch gold, see how much higher it will go. Lastly, Bitcoin down for the day. Again, Bitcoin we can see, particularly on this half day chart, how it has been sliding sideways you know, down some, up a little, sideways, down, again, just above that weekly trend line, which is very weak, having been at about the same price range for three weeks. So what is Bitcoin getting ready to do? Slam over and head down? Or is it just, you know, sort of gaining some energy to pop up again? We'll wait, watch and see. I will be releasing for everyone tomorrow afternoon, this week's charting cryptos and commodities. That, of course, is already available for all of our Patreon members at the Patreon page. Please go there along with the three wave trades that I curated for you to potentially practice trade this week. Check all that out. If you're not a Patreon member want to be one, please go to the Patreon site. It's our Charting Wealth uh, Patreon page. You'll see links in the show notes, both at YouTube and if you're a subscriber at ChartingWealth.com for free. You'll get all that stuff emailed to you every day. God bless my friends. All the best. And thank you for putting up with me being late tonight. I am traveling, as I said, but I wasn't going to let the evening pass without getting this out to you. God bless, friends. Good night.